Migraine is one of the most common primary headache disorders. What that means is that migraine is not secondary to or because of something going on in the brain. In the migraine patients, the brain is wired in a certain way. It's predisposed to these attacks in the right conditions. The device that we are studying is a non-invasive vagus nerve stimulator. It's a device which is this big, it's applied on the neck, and it stimulates the cervical portion of the vagus nerve, meaning the part of the vagus nerve that, that uh, passes through the neck. And by using this route, by stimulating the vagus nerve, it's able to cause changes in the central parts of the brain, the, the pain areas of the brain, and thereby it suppresses the migraine process. Neuromodulation as compared to conventional pharmacological therapy, the medication therapy, uh, is much better tolerated because it does not have the typical side effects that the patients experience with medications. Over the past three, four years, we have had some indication that this can also help in preventing the migraine attacks. So our study um, is looking at the use of this device on a daily basis to see whether this prevents the migraine attack from coming on. Different medications can cause different side effects. For instance, one of the mainstays of migraine treatment are medications uh, called triplans, and they often cause chest tightness, throat tightness, palpitations, sedation, and dizziness, and oftentimes the side effects are are so bothersome to the patients that they're reluctant to take the medication until the migraine attack has become so severe that they're not able to catch it in time.